Are you a blogger and online marketer and you want to start using Pinterest to get more traffic? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the exact steps you need to take on Pinterest to start getting tons of traffic as soon as today. So keep watching. On this channel, I teach entrepreneurs how to get more leads and sales using social media. So if you want more videos like that, be sure to go down below, subscribe, and then click that little bell notification so you're always notified of videos just like this. Okay, the very first thing is you want to create a business account on Pinterest. It's very important you do this because this is gonna allow you to add a website, get insights, different analytics on what's working, and other benefits that having just a personal account will not give you. Now, in order to sign up for a business account on Pinterest, you simply wanna to head to business.pinterest.com. And uh, once you're there, you just wanna to go to this top right and click sign up, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna be able to fill out your information and sign up as a business account. Now, after you've entered your information, you want to make sure you enter a website and then confirm that website. The way you can confirm it is basically you're going to copy and paste the text they give you into the HTML of your website's index page. There's lots of websites and tutorials that would walk you through that step by step, but the reason you want to confirm your website is it allows you to see what people pin from your website. It also adds your logo to any pins made from your site. Confirming your website will also boost your pins rankings and search results. Okay, so very powerful. You want to confirm your website. So once you've created your business account on Pinterest, the next thing you want to do is create your first board. Now, if you don't have a board already or you don't know what a board is, it's basically a category, a folder that will actually hold different pins. Now, a pin is simply a post that you've saved okay so if I click one of my boards it's Facebook marketing techniques now if I go through all these are different pins and you can basically save different videos different blogs okay some of them are from me some of them are from different people and these are all pins in the board of Facebook marketing techniques okay so let me go back to my main page and I want to share with you how to create a board very effectively so once you're on the tab of boards on your profile, you want to click create a board. Now the first thing you want to do is put in a name that's basically going to demonstrate to other people what information is inside of this board. Now you want to be specific and you want to talk about something that is going to be related to your business or your niche. Okay, so for example, let's say you're in uh, health and fitness and you teach people how to lose weight. Well, you could create a board that says weight loss tips okay weight loss tips you know and then what you would want to do is start adding pins to that board the idea here is to not talk about your business or products okay so you want to make the board title something related to maybe tips information so what's going to turn people off is if you just put in like products or things like that okay you want to talk about something benefiting them and then just hit create now once you create your board, you wanna edit it and enter in information that makes it easier for other Pinterest users to find. So you wanna just go down to this little pen, click that, and then you can edit your board. So for example, you know, if I wanna change the name, I can do that here. Description, you wanna enter what this is about. Okay, so for example, for this Facebook marketing techniques, I could say, discover some of the best Facebook marketing techniques to help grow a business today okay right very clear very descriptive next thing you want to do is enter in a category okay so for example if you're talking about animals and pets you know you want to select their design education okay entertainment this is more education based so I'm gonna do that now the cover this is very powerful this is how I've been able to build you know thousands of followers on my Pinterest boards and the way to do that is I have really cool covers. Okay, so I can go here and hit change. And then what it's gonna be is it's gonna share all the different pins that I've actually done. So if you wanna create a custom board, like I have here, okay, all these different custom boards, what you wanna do is you wanna actually go into the board. This is a bonus tip. 
Then you want to go here, okay, create pen, upload an image of a nice looking board cover, okay, with good text and, and something describing what that is, and then you can add a URL that you want it to link to. Once you upload that, what you're going to be able to do is then select that when you're editing it, okay? So I can go to cover, change, and you would be able to select the pen with the cover of it, and then you just hit save changes, okay? Now that would look beautiful when people are looking at your main page, allowing you to get more traffic, more pins, etc. One thing you want to keep in mind though, if you're watching this and you don't know how to create beautiful graphics or images, be sure to click the card that popped up on this video and check out my full Canva tutorial walking you through how to easily create beautiful images and graphics literally in minutes. Now right here, secret, you can either make it secret where no one but certain people can find it or you can turn that off, etc. And then you just want to hit save. Once you've created your first board, then you can start pinning and building this board. Now a lot of people want to start going out on Pinterest, create a board, and then fill it with only their posts. But Pinterest is about sharing. Okay, so what you actually want to do is when you first create a new board, you want to pin around 10 or more posts from other people. Okay, and the way to do that is you want to go up to the search bar and type in your niche. So for example, let's say you are in weight loss. I'll go weight loss, okay, weight loss, let's say tips, and then I wanna search that. Now what you're gonna find is all these different pins from other people that have already pinned in the weight loss niche, okay? So what you wanna do is find one that, that is good that maybe your audience would like. So now let's say I like this uh, superfood right here. I can actually go through, click this little drop down. it will show up all my different boards, and let's say I created a board with weight loss tips, I would select that, and then hit save. Okay, that would instantly add it to that board. So what you wanna do is go through and add about 10 or so to this new board to really start populating it with other people's stuff. Now this is very important to do because this is gonna allow you to build out a board already with a lot of pins, so then when you start adding your own blogs, your own videos to it, it's already populated full and people are gonna be more likely to follow it. Okay, now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna pin consistently. Pinterest recommends that you pin something at least once per day during peak times. Now the peak times on Pinterest, they found through research, tend to be on the evenings and the weekends, especially for US-based brands. So you're in the United States, you wanna post more on the evenings and the weekends specifically. Now, Pinterest also recommends that consistency is key. So if you're gonna post a large number of posts over the course of a week, you know it's better to divide them up and post them maybe once or twice a day rather than all in one day, okay? So this is very, very important. Now, Pinterest is a highly visual medium, so it's worth the effort to create quality imagery. You wanna make sure that your photos are well composed, high quality, and really in focus. Now again, you can use Canva, like I highlighted earlier, to create these good high quality photos. You can use stock photography websites to find good images for your pens. The key here again is to brand yourself very visually and use good images. Pinterest actually found that lifestyle images generally outperform product images because people buy from people they know, like, and trust rather than just seeing an image of a product. Now, 80% of pinners actually use the Pinterest app on their mobile device. So you wanna keep in mind that your images should be opti optimized for a small screen. Now, vertical images, images that go up and down are really the best since they give you more real estate and more space that you can actually demonstrate things on your picture. Also, adding some text to your images can really help you stand out and capture people's attention when they decide whether or not they wanna pin your post. You wanna use Pinterest analytics. Pinterest analytics provides important information about what type of pins and what type of content you're posting performs best. What you wanna do is you wanna really look at this information and make sure that you are 
implementing more of what's working best and less of what isn't working, okay? So if you post a certain type of pin and you see that people aren't responding to it or it's not giving you much traffic, but you see one type of pin is getting floods of traffic to your websites and your blog posts, obviously you wanna do more of the th type of posts that's working. Okay, you'll also see which boards your pins are included in. So this kind of gives you an idea of how people think about your business and your products. This can allow you to get more ideas on how to better position your Pinterest efforts in the future. This is gonna allow you again to get a lot more traffic as you just look at your analytics, look at the data, and really start to implement more of what's working. Okay, now what I wanna share with you is a bonus tip on how you can pin blog articles and videos very easily as you're browsing online. And it uses a Google plugin. So you need Google Chrome for this, but basically what you do is you go to the Chrome web store and the plugin is called Pinterest Save Button. I can include a direct link below. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click Add to Chrome and then just add extension. Now as you can see, it's been added right here. Okay, so now let's say I'm on a website and I'm gonna use my blog for example. Okay, so I'm on one of my blog posts and what you can actually do is let's say you're on your own blog or someone else's and you wanna pin it to one of your boards, you can just go up here, click that plugin, and then it's gonna scrape different images that are actually on that website. And let's say I like this image here. Okay, well I can just hit save and then it's gonna pop up into what board I want it to save in, okay? And I can edit this description, you know, seven powerful Instagram tips. And then I can go to the Instagram board that I created, right? Or I can create a board from here if I don't have a board that I think that pin will go for. Okay, so this plugin is very powerful and you can use this as you're browsing your website to build pins and start generating even more traffic to your websites. So now you know how to start using Pinterest to generate traffic, but how do you turn this traffic into leads for your business? Well, be sure to grab my free training audio, 17 ways to get leads today, either down below or head to garrettgetsresults.com forward slash 17 ways. In that training audio, I'm gonna walk you through 17 different ways to get leads today. All of them are easy and all but one of them are totally free. So I hope you enjoyed this video, my friend. If you did, be sure to click the like button below, share it with your friends and any business partners, and be sure to subscribe. Last but not least, comment below how this helped you, which one of these tips were your favorite, and I will see you in the next video.